Scoville unit as we continue the spicy chili series with pork curry. Things are getting hotter. This is 999 Things to Cook. Make sure to click that notification bell and check out the website. We start with our spices. First, our homemade dried chilies. If you don't know how to make these, then check out my last video, episode 29. I have dried red hot peppers that are going on two plates. I'm dividing them up for different uses that you will see as we move along here. Next, we have some dried long hot peppers. Dried serrano chilies. Do I need to keep saying dried? They're all dried, okay? So let's just go with that. Jalapenos. Poblano peppers. Half a cinnamon stick. Two bay leaves. One and a half teaspoons of cumin seeds. Two green cardamom pods. A teaspoon of Szechuan peppercorns. A teaspoon of black peppercorns one black cardamom pod, about a teaspoon of coriander seeds. We also have some turmeric powder and some Kashmiri chili powder and some red Thai chilies for that plate, but we will be using more than that, I promise. On to the meat. I have a piece of pork. I really had my heart set on using pork hocks for this, but the store was out of course, and that only happens when I have a video to make, but that's my luck. So I have a half picnic here. It will just take longer to cook. I wanted to make sure there was plenty of fatty skin on the pork for this dish. So basically, I'm cutting off big chunks of meat. No need to worry about being too precise with your butchering here. Then just cut the larger chunks in half basically trying to make them all relatively the same size so they will lay nicely in the oven pan. Don't worry, I'm going to use this bone here in a minute too. Take some chicken stock and pour enough in the pan to submerge all the meat almost completely. Then we take the smaller plate of chilies and dump them in. Cover it with foil and into a 350 degree oven for about two hours. Next, we get our curry started. All the spices go into a dry pan on medium heat and are gently toasted until you can smell the aromas. Just don't burn them. You might remember this step from my chicken curry video. After they are all toasted, you grind them up along with the chilies. Using my coffee grinder that I only use for spices, I had started with the chilies. It took a couple batches of grinding as you can see. Then I moved on to the spices that we had just toasted. I have them in separate little bowls so that you can get a nice close-up like this. Notice, the bay leaves, cinnamon stick, and black cardamom pod are still whole. Okay, so I have a wok to which I will add some grapeseed oil. You don't have to use a wok for this. I'm just using one because, well, I want to. Throw in a roughly chopped onion and cook for a minute or two. I'm hitting it with some salt. Of course, we need to add some of this. Check out episode 27 to learn how to make this spicy chili oil. Then add a good amount of garlic. I like to use garlic paste a lot. I don't have the heat up super high because this is going to stew for a long time, so keep that in mind if you do this. Then we add a bunch of vegetable stock and some tomatoes. I decided to use some very nice San Marzanos. Just crush them up by hand into it. At this point, add all your flavors in all the ground spices and the homemade ground chilies and the bay leaves, cinnamon stick and black cardamom pod. A nice bit of some turmeric powder and a scoop of Kashmiri chili powder. And for extra fun, some Thai chilies. I think I added about seven or eight, but who's counting at this point? I added a little more stock just to give it some room to reduce. And then in goes the pork bone. I just wanted to try to get some of that marrow to melt out of it to increase the flavor. Turn the heat on so that it will come to a simmer and it will simmer until the pork in the oven has been in there for two hours. This is the actual color at this point. I used my iPhone for this shot. And yes, I am so well aware of how bad my camera actually sucks, but I promise I've been working my butt off to get a much, much better one in the near future for you guys. 
So now the pork has been in the oven for two hours and it is about halfway cooked at this point, I think. Remove all the pork from the pan. I'm also gonna get that bone out of there. Cut the pork up into reasonable sized chunks and add them to the pool of spicy awesomeness. Let it all simmer for another one to two hours until the pork is extremely tender. This will thicken as it simmers. Keep an eye on it. You can always add water if it thickens too fast on you. You can see the consistency at this point. After an hour and a half of simmering. Now don't forget to fish out that black cardamom pod, cinnamon stick, bay leaves, Thai chilies, all the stuff that you didn't grind up. Pack up some green onions and throw them in. A little Amish butter to give it some shine. Regular butter's fine too. Taste for additional salt needed. Little bit. And some fresh herbs. Cilantro works well. I'm using parsley here. And just look at that. 